Hello guys, welcome back to my Shemu Let's Play. In the last episode we did some work at the harbour and the forklift which is really really fun. And next episode we're going to do the same thing and also find some more information about the Mad Angels. Let's go to sleep and let's head to the next step. Master Chen and Mad Angel Rivals, where are the Mad Angels? So every day we, when we're at the harbour we always start off with a race. Ready. It doesn't really bother me much because the races are actually quite fun. I love the music that plays which makes me fun as a playthrough and I'm in fifth place again. I came first in the last episode so hopefully I can come first again. I'm going to try and get in first place much quicker this time. Hopefully I don't crash into anything. Whoa that was close. I kept quiet then so I wanted to hear my favourite part of the soundtrack, dun, 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 you know that bit. That bit's actually quite my favourite part of the soundtrack. I need to get in first place. I want to try and get in first place before the end of the second lap. So I'll try and get in first place quicker than last race I did. Mostly when people play this game each they mostly cut out every most of the races in the game. But I don't actually want to do that because the racing segments in my opinion are actually quite fun so I want to keep them in. I know they can get a bit repetitive to watch but it's Maybe it depends how long it takes to get through the game. Maybe I will start cutting them out later on. I don't know, maybe. And I'm nearly past this guy. Come on, I'm in front. Yes, I'm in front. It's a bit of a collision course here between me and the first place racer. Okay, there we go, I'm past him. I just need to get in, need to get in a good position in front. Oh, are you serious? I shouldn't have crashed then. Come on, I didn't even crash into anything. There's no, there's, that's just air there. I shouldn't have bumped into anything. I should still be in first place. Come on, man, get out of my way. Thank you. Come on, get in front, get in front. I'm in first place. Nice. I need to keep this position. I could listen to this music in this in this area all day when you're racing around the forklift. I'm in first place now. I only try and keep this position. I think I got in first place quick last night. I can still control the forklift as well. The crane on the forklift. I can still control that. Shame I can't pick up any of the other forklifts and get them out of the way like that. That'd be pretty cool if I could do that. It's understandable why I can't do that though. So I imagine the, fork the other forklifts are too heavy for the crane bit to carry. I imagine the forklifts are much heavier than the crates. I think I'm in first place. Oh no. They wouldn't, be, they wouldn't be able to get past me from there anyway because there's not enough space to take over. I don't know if I've got a quicker time in this race. I can't remember what time I got in the last episode now. No, I can't remember what time it was. I don't know if I got quicker this time. I don't know if I beat it in under three minutes in the last episode. I might have done, I don't know. But I think I've definitely got a quicker time in this episode. I think I have. That's just a guess by the way. And I'm the winner, again. The rookie's good. 
pretty damn good for a rookie. Here's your first place prize. Thanks. The same prize as last time. Hope you work as well as you race. I'm ready. Today, you gotta take this cargo to warehouse number three. Here's the map. Don't forget the quota. No problem. Okay, good luck. Okay, where do I need to go? Uh, so where... So I've got to go to warehouse number th three? Warehouse number three, okay. Warehouse number three it is. I think I know, I think we'll head this way there. Yeah, I think I remember where warehouse number three is. As you can see, this cargo transport is a bit complex compared to the last one we did in the last episode. The last one episode it was just around the corner from where the boxes were, but this time we have to do a bit more travelling in this in today, so we have to it's this one here. I think we might have more boxes to, to transport as well. Actually or do we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think it's about sixteen ten, twenty boxes we need to carry, so that's one of them. Out of my way. I'm a working man. Obviously, the more boxes we we get, the more yen we'll get. If we meet quota, I think it depends how much boxes you stack. If you meet enough box enough stack enough boxes, you get a quota. It means you'll get a raise on your on your yen, which is actually pretty handy because that's really going to come handy. I can only transport one crate. Oh, of course you can. Shame I can't transport both at the same time. I'm also going to show you guys what happens if you press the control of the controls of the crane while you're carrying a box. Gotta put them in the Rio warehouse. will just say, gotta put them in a the warehouse or they'll get mad if I leave these outside. They'll get mad if I leave these outside. Those are only two things where it says so you can't lower the the forklift crane when when you have a box. So you have to eat Rio will always keep it in the air like that. So Rio can't control it or anything. The only time Rio can lower it down is when he's in when he's in the warehouse or near the boxes. I'm gonna kinda of stack this one on top. Okay, there's one. It's time to get another crate. Do, 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 do. Well, quite a lot of music plays on It's actually quite relaxing, this music, if you ask me. I know it's work, it's not supposed to be relaxing, but it doesn't really matter. It's actually quite, it's a bit repetitive, this music, but to me, it doesn't actually get old for me. It's actually quite relaxing. I actually quite like it. Okay. Here's the next one. That's three out of twelve. We've got quite a few boxes there. Is that? Do we have more than twenty boxes there? Oh well, we'll stack the ones in that warehouse for now, and we'll see if there's another warehouse I'll stack them in. But I don't think that's likely. You can also head round this way as well. I know this way is a bit longer, but it doesn't really matter. You can still go round this way. There's another way to get around. So there's two ways you can go. The first way we went is obviously quicker, but the timing is not much different for both of them. That's free. Sweet. Poor house guys, I thought I was going to bump into the corner then. But I think I just avoided that. Shame I can't pick people up when controlling the crane as well and lift them in the air. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Oh, I'd love to. See if I bumped into any mad angels and I was dr just drove over and I lifted the crane controls up as quick as I could, fling them in the air. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. But I don't think the crane goes up quick enough to fling them up in the air that high. No, I don't think it goes up in the air quick enough. It's a bit of a shame actually, because it'd be pretty cool if you could fling them up in the air. That'd be pretty funny. Yeah, if you bump into any mad angels or sailors around here, just rock drive over them or use the forklift to like fling them up in the air. That'd be pretty funny. That'd be such a cool way to take them out. If only we could do that. <laughs> so that's four boxes. We've got another just under an hour till lunchtime. Out of my way. Ah, there's too many people. Get out of my way. Beep the horn. Even though I beep the horn, they never get out of the way. 
I don't think his horn's really loud enough. I'll just sneak up to one of them while... I mean, if someone did that to me, they'd probably make me jump, because I probably wouldn't expect them to be right behind me. It's not a loud horn, but it'll probably still make me jump, to be honest. Okay, here we go. There's another crate. Gee, look at all these crates. Okay, you don't have to stack every single one. Try and stack as many as possible so you meet quota. Once you meet quota, you'll get more yen and... Eventually, you'll have enough money to go to Hong Kong. So you think. Unfortunately, that's not what happens in the game. Something else happens for Rio to go to Hong Kong. There's a bit of a spoiler if I haven't played this already, but... Yeah, it's going to take a very long time... To get every single get all the yen to go to Hong Kong. Hong Kong is very expensive, so unfortunately Rio doesn't particularly have enough money. It'll be a, it'll take a long time for Rio to get a lot of money. I don't know if it is possible to buy a ticket in this game. I don't think it is, actually. Nah, I don't think it is. I think... Nah. If you get stuck at the same bit and get enough yen to buy the Hong Kong ticket, I don't think you can... Nah, buy the Hong Kong ticket. Especially what happened to Asia Travel Co. I don't think it's possible. Nah, so there must... There must be another way. There is... I know there's more than one global travel agency in Dubuita, but I don't know if... I think the tickets and the other one are far more expensive. I don't know if it's possible to get that, that amount of money before the game ends. No, I don't think it is. But luckily there is another way for Rio to get to Hong Kong, which we'll find out later on in this game. I'm not going to tell you guys what that is. Get out of my way. And he just disappeared. Huh, <laughs> how handy. If only workers did that in real life at the harbour. Just disappeared if they got in your way like that. Like magic. That would be pretty cool if they could get out of the way like that. And Christmas is just around the corner. Next week, as I'm recording this, next week is Christmas. I have... I've asked for Shemmy 3 for Christmas, so... I hope you'll get my hands on Shenmue 3, Final Christmas. I didn't pre-order the game. I was planning to pre-order it, but I never actually pre-ordered it. I don't know why I did. I don't think I really had the money for it. Nah, I don't think I really bothered in pre-ordering it, so I wanted to save up my money. So instead, I asked for it for Christmas. Yeah, which I think is honestly easier. Great ways. Also, I asked for a few other games, but I asked for Far Cry New Dawn as well. I wanted to get my hands on that as well, and Persona 5. I'm loving Persona 4 Gold in a minute. I'm actually loving that game. I'm doing my second playthrough on it. The first playthrough, I got a bad ending on it, but this time I'm going to try and get a, a good ending this time. Hopefully. As I play through Persona 4 Gold. And I really want to play that on my YouTube channel at some point. If I find a way to record PS Vita games one day, if I get a PlayStation TV, maybe. I can. That'll be the first Vita game I play, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe there is a couple of other Vita games I'll let to play on the channel. I mean, PSV is my favourite handheld gaming console of all time, so I have so many memories from it, and yeah, it's very nostalgic for me. PS Vita was by far the most underappreciated gaming console ever made. Well, handheld anyway. I don't understand when I when the Vita was getting games, but I don't understand why it was hated so much. I don't get it. People criticised it for the wrong reasons. Okay, it's lunchtime. Yay! Lunchtime, eh? Ah, lunchtime. Lunchtime. So we need to go around asking information about the Mad Angels. Is Mark still sitting down there? See if Mark knows anything else. Mark. Hey, Dio. Yeah. How you liking work? It's okay, I suppose. Well, I expect a lot from you, Dio. Right. I'll do my best. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm going to get much information out of him. Just let him sit down. I need to... F How do I... Who do I go for? Who else would know information? I don't think... Hmm, who else would know? I don't, she doesn't know anything, there's no point asking her behind the counter, but who else would know? I need to find some workers who might know some information. Excuse me. Excuse me! Ask me again some other time! Okay then, fine. Don't need to be rude about it, you dick. Okay, who do I ask? I wonder if Goro's about. Although, I don't think I'll get much information from Goro because... Remember what happened in the last episode? We tried to ask Goro and he tried to make an excuse to leave, so I don't think we're going to get much information out of him. Oh. 
Okay, who do I ask though? I don't think asking the Chen family would be a good idea, so I don't... The Chen family, I have asked the Chen family before with a phone call now, but they don't really give you any information, they refuse to tell you anything. I'm not going to bother... Tom. Hi, Dio! I've got something to ask you. Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Rio? You in trouble with them? Nope. I'm just trying to find out about them. No, man! Do not go and get mixed up with them! They're killers! Okay, I don't feel I'm going to get much information around this, so... Don't ask Guizan and Master Chen. There's no point calling them because they're not going to tell you anything. I've done that before in this game and calling them is a waste of time, so don't do it. Hmm... Warehouse number 18, is anyone in here? Let's see if anyone's in here. I need to find a way to kill time. Actually, I don't know what I could do. I'm going to go to warehouse number 4, because I think I can practice my martial arts in there. I don't think there's really many people to ask at this point in time, so we might as well just go practice some martial arts. Yeah, we might as well. I don't think there's really anyone to ask at the moment, so I don't think there's really much point asking around. The harbour can be quite confusing to know which people to talk to, so there's quite a lot of people around here. And I remember when I first played this game, and on my second playthrough as well, it was really difficult for me to know who to talk to. So yeah, it's actually quite, it's quite tricky. Because sometimes you have to wait for certain events to appear before you can actually get more information. So I guarantee you, on when we do when we work after lunch, I guarantee the Mad Angel is going to appear out of nowhere and start causing havoc and we'll probably get some information from them like that. Okay, let's head in here. Maybe I can practice my martial arts in here. The old man said warehouse number four, if I remember correctly. Maybe I can practice here. I should work on my moves. Yeah, good idea. Okay, let's go. This is the first time I've practiced any martial arts moves in this game. It's called cool. Ryoken Run Around and this is my favourite move. It's so epic. It can it can take out Enemies quite quickly as well if you use it effectively. Yeah, that was a move Fukusan taught me. When I'm in battle, I always struggle to use it. I always, I always struggle to find the right time to use it. Just move the analog stick forward and press the square button to do like this two punch combo. It's actually quite a powerful punch. It can cause quite a lot of damage. I'm trying to figure out another move. That's a grab. Um... What was the move I was taught in the last episode, that dodge move, that could come in handy? How did I do that? Uh, hang on, if we go to... No, I'll carry on. Uh, I need to go to the move section. Uh, perhaps I can't do that right now. I think I have to... Can I leave? Nope. Guess I'll just have to kick the door down. Shame I can't do that. It's not letting me leave, so I can't really kick the door down if I just have to keep practicing and practicing until they let me leave. This is not, when I do practicing, this is the only move I've used. It's actually quite satisfying to watch Rio do this move, in my opinion, just run around and swing his leg around like that. It's actually quite cool. I wish I could do that. I'm no martial artist myself, but I think it'd be pretty cool if I did learn some of these moves. <laughs> it'd be pretty cool. Show how much of a badass I am, although I'm not really any badass whatsoever. I'm no badass. <laughs> they do let you practice for quite a while as well. I wonder if I can knock the cones off. These kick moves, or just punch them. Punching them must hurt your fist though. That's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, I've had enough practicing. Ah, this is the moves. Which was the one I learned in the last episode? Oh, what's this one? That was the move Guizan taught me. Funding, uh, the Swallow Dive, Dark Moon, what's that? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, Dark Side Hazuki. Shadow Step. That was, a, that was the move I was taught in the last episode. Shadow Step. I remember now. It's half one, so we might as well head back to the crates now and get back to work. Once we get to the crates, it should be two o'clock, and actually, no, I think we'll get there before two o'clock. We'll head there now because there's not really any pe many people to talk to at the minute. 
well, not for useful information anyway, so I don't really want to bore you guys too much by talking to people we don't even need to talk to. So I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to head to the crates and cut ahead a bit of time when we get back to work. Okay, here are all these crates. I don't think Rio's strong enough to carry the crates by himself. Those crates look heavy, they're nearly as tall as him, there's no way Rio's going to carry them. Oh look, there's Goro. Perfect timing. Goro? Yo, bro! You know about the Mad Angels? Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah! Working hard, eh, bro? Why are you shouting? Don't you know, bro? You don't say that name so loud! Why not? Just because! Where are you going? You can't... He's walking toward the boxes. Oh well, I'll leave him to it. Actually, don't try talking to Goro because he'll try and do whatever it takes to not talk to you about the Mad Angels. Okay guys, I'm going to cut ahead to 2 o'clock. It's already this late. Time to go back to work. Warehouse number three. Okay. Okay, let's get all these crates. Can I get all these crates delivered in three hours? Hmm, I doubt it. So I think the Mad Angels are going to come along and... Yeah, I think they're going to interrupt the work at some point. I just know it's going to happen. They usually do that quite a lot when you're working. The Mad Angels will always try and interrupt your work and try to beat you up. We'll see that quite a bit throughout this game, but you know what? They actually are quite fun. Ryo can show he's the best martial artist. The Mad Angels will hopefully at some point get a message not to mess with him. Although to be fair, when you fight Mad Angels, every time you're working, it does lead to one of the best fights in the game, the 70 man battle, which I, which I will show you guys, of course, because we have to beat it in order to beat the game, so... I will show you guys that. It's probably one of the best fights in Shenmue history. Yeah, out of Shenmue 1 2, it's probably the best fight if you ask me. Shenmue 2 did have quite a few good fights as well, which I'll show you guys when I play Shenmue 2 after this game, but... Shenmue 1, in my opinion, probably has the best fight, which is a 70 man battle. Uh, oh, damn it. Okay, let's get this lined up. So I think once I've stacked all the crates in front, I think I would have met my quota, but in case I don't, I'm going to try and stack as many crates as possible. So at least I meet the quota, at least I get my, a yen raise every time I do this. I don't know what the boss says to you if you don't meet the quota. I've not actually done that before. I don't know what actually happens. I might as well head, head around this way for a change. Head around both ways. Okay, let's put this one in here. We're bound to bump into the Mad Angels at some point while working. We're bound to. Considering what happened yesterday, they're bound to be planning revenge. They're probably gonna they're probably looking for Rio around the harbour right now. Well, they know where to find him. They know he rides a forklift. Get out of my way. He moved away. Ha! <laughs> he disappeared. Like an angel going to heaven. If only we were working like that in real life and when people get in the way they'll just disappear like that. Don't some people just wish that? Imagine people playing this game when they work, they, they just wish people would disappear like that if they ever bothered you while at work. That'd be pretty cool wouldn't it? If you could just get them to disappear like that. How much easier would it make your life? Okay, stack this crate. Yeah. Makes quite a cool sound when you're lowering the forklift with a crate on it. Oh, you don't even have, you don't even need to have a crate on it. All right, my bad. I think I've stacked all the ones in front now, so I think I'm, that means I've met my quota. You don't have to stack every single one to meet. Get out of my way. Ah, he didn't disappear for me. Shame. Yeah, all the front ones are sat, so I think that means I met my quota. Let's get this crate stacked. See if I can stack as many as possible. Hmm. I always keep going this way. Maybe I could try and find another way to go. 
we can also head around that way as well. I just remembered that. I think there's Mark working as well. Mark was in the forklift behind me. The Mad Angels can literally appear any time, to be honest. When you're working, they could appear literally just before 5 o'clock, or literally just as you start working. They could literally appear any time. Okay, let's head around this way. Let's take this way back. I can also head this way round as well. Oh, I forgot about this way. This way is obviously a lot slower, but... Yeah, I think it's pretty cool going different ways around. Ah! Shame the barrels don't, like, fall over anything when I bump into them. Uh, Okay, let's stack this one. Let's head this way around. Why not go... We'll take a different path to what we usually do. Ah. I don't understand why Rio bumps, like, on air. It's like, well, at least it stops him going into the water, but... Is it really necessary? Okay, stack this crate here. I've got eight more crates to stack up. I don't think I'll stack all eight crates after this. I'll stack as many as possible, though. I think it's safe to say I've definitely met the quota. Yeah, look at all the crates that's been stacked. Surely that's enough to meet today's quota. Get out of my way, all of you. Let's get more these crates. There's about eight of them. All right. Just enough to fit between all those lines. I'm not going to get every single one stacked. It's not going to be possible before five o'clock. We have to be very quick to stack all eight of them. I'll try and stack as many as possible, but I don't think... Okay, Mark. Mark just got completely out of the way for me. How handy. Thank you, Mark. I knew that was Mark so I could tell from the shirt he was wearing in the forklift. Mark appeared again and disappeared. <laughs> hey, look! It's Schoolboy! You guys, what the hell are you doing here? Children shouldn't play around with forklifts. You might get hurt, you know. Ha! Move it. You heard us? You're fired! Ha! <laughs> ha! Nice taxi you got here! Take me on home, okay? Get a move on! Whatever. Cut it out! Joke's on you, schoolboy! That's it. You're mine. It's showtime! Bring it on! Ah, oh, he knocked me onto the floor. I was gonna try and do this kick move. Nice. See, it took out the... It took him out straight away. How handy. Let's do it again. Yeah! Do I get them both? Ah. Oh. I think that guy managed to block it. That's why I didn't take him out. Let's try all the other moves. Yep, got him, and look at all these mad angels getting wrecked. The sailors? Really? Got some. Those are the guys we met at the Heart Beats Bar. Yeah, I, me I remember that guy in the black cloak. I knocked him out. I beat him up in the Heart Beats Bar. He's got his other sailor friends that try and take me as well. Some people really want Rio beaten up. Uh, oh man. 
<laughs> Help me! Where are the mad angels? Those guys are at the back of warehouse number 17. Number 17? Yeah, at the back of the warehouse. You lying? If you don't believe me, go see for yourself. <coughs> No, I just mugged them. Rio just mugged them off again. Okay, let's sack this crate. I already showed you guys the last episode where warehouse number 17 was. It's located behind... Yeah, the Mad Angels location is located behind warehouse number 17. I showed you guys where the Mad Angels hideout was. There's no point going around there to this part of the game, though, because nothing really happens. But some interesting stuff will take place around there later on in the game, though. Some fun things will happen. So I bumped into Mad Angels, I don't think they'll be bothering me again now for the rest of the day because I took them out again. Hopefully they'll learn this lesson this time. It's not likely, but hopefully they will. Let's get this crate stacked. I think I've got time to stack possibly two more crates. I'm going to try and get two more crates stacked. This one and one more before five o'clock. I'd better get a quota from this. I'm bound to. I've definitely stacked plenty of crates. Out of my way. Too many people. Lucky's Harbour is not the most crowded harbour in the world. This is quite a big harbour, so it says in the game. There's quite a lot of people who work in this harbour, but I'm pretty sure there are harbours on the w around the world that are much more packed than this. Okay, I need to stack this crate quickly. I don't think it really matters how neat it looks. I've got to. I need to stack one more crate. Ah, I'm stuck. Can I get one more crate stacked in time? Okay, let's go. Out of my way, forklift number 25. So, because I stack one more crate. Shame I can't run people over in this. Well, it's probably a good thing because Rio would lose his job if he did that. <laughs> Imagine if the game ended if Rio literally just ran someone over and lost his job. Imagine if the game, you've got a bad ending from doing that. <laughs> there is a way to get a bad ending in this game. When you get, to, If you don't beat the game for 15th April, a bad ending will occur. And I will show you guys the bad ending when I finish this Let's Play of the game. So it's actually quite a cool bad ending, so I'll show you guys it. I've got another save file while playing this, so I'm going to use that to show you guys the bad ending. I'll show you guys the quickest way to get it as well, because I know the quickest way to get it. Like I've got time to stack one more crate. Come on, it's nearly 5 o'clock. I've got time to stack one more. Okay, here goes. It's stacked. That is 13 foot 15 crates stacked. Not bad. Finished for the day. I probably would have got more stacked if it wasn't for the mad angels. Okay, good job. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 400 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, so where do I go from here? Let's see if I can talk to Mark. Is Mark around here somewhere? Usually near the end of the day, Mark is usually standing around here. Mark's not here. In case you guys didn't watch last episode, let's go show you guys. I'm going to show you guys warehouse number 17. Yeah, I know exactly where it is. And the Mad Angels warehouse is... Place is just behind it, so I thought I might as well show you guys. I don't really ask much people around the corner, so you might as well go ask some people. Well, Mark's not actually around here, so maybe the Mad Angel done something with Mark. Let's go around the corner and see if there's people to ask. I'll show you guys what the warehouse number 17 and the hideout. Cut it out! You again? This time you're dead. Another day, another fight in the life of Ryo Hazuki. Yeah, it's just figured. Ah, there's loads of them. 
I'll just keep punching and punching until this guy falls to the floor. Come on, you got to defend yourself a bit, man. Yeah. Oh, I thought I took that guy out as well. Oh. If only I took him out as well, that would be such a cool kick if I managed to do that. Ah. I'm not really the best at fighting this game. The fighting is fun, but I'm definitely not the best at it. Yeah, there are definitely far better fighters than me in this game. Yeah, take you down. Oh, he got back up. Son of a bitch. Fine, I'll finish you off this way. I was going to jump over to him and literally do a flying kick like, like that, but he fell to the floor before I could do it. I'm going to try and finish him off with my favourite move. I need to do some more blocking though. That's my that's a bad habit for me in games. When I play hack and slash in fighting games, blocking is su not blocking is such a bad habit for me. Good job I blocked that, otherwise I'll be low on it. Come on, fall to the floor. Um, we won't forget this. Mark, you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm all right. No problem. Oh, oh careful. So, looking for your brother? Yeah, my only brother. He's about your age. But now, he's probably at the bottom of the sea. Killed by the Mad Angels. Why would the Mad Angels kill your brother? It appears he may have leaked some important information. Is that why they... Probably. At least as far as I could tell, only one person was killed. So you're not sure? Was the guy who heard the information killed, or my brother, the one who leaked it? Oh yeah, Dill. I heard the information was about a black market deal. With some Chinese cartel. A Chinese cartel? The GU men. So I got some more information from saving Mark. Okay, let's have a look at the notebook, see what it says. Mark's brother may have been killed by the Mad Angels by leaking information. The info was Mad Angel making a deal with Chiyo Men. If I follow them, they'll lead me to Chiyo Men. I don't think there's many many people to ask around here at the moment. Got a minute? Huh? Have you seen any of the Mad Angels around the harbor? Get lost! I didn't see shit! Okay. I guess he's too scared to talk about the Mad Angel. It's not like the Mad Angel's gonna hear him from where, is it? That's probably why they won't talk to us, maybe because of what happened to Mark's brother. They think the Mad Angels killed him because he leaked some important information about them. Maybe that's why they're too scared to talk. I don't know if there's anyone else to go to information to, so let's see if I can head home now. If you get enough information for a day around the harbour, they will let you go home. Um, yeah? Did you see anyone from the Mad Angels? You know, the foreman would know about stuff like that. I see. The foreman? Who's the foreman? No, oh, I don't know. We'll still ask some people on the way back to the harbour see if anyone knows anything. I think that's Goro. We're not going to ask him because we'll get the same answer from him every single time we ask him. Excuse me. I want to ask you something. I'm in a hurry. Ask the other guards, will you? I see. Come on, you could have spared me a bit of your time. Okay, see if we can go home now. I think I've got plenty of information for the day. Maybe I should ask around about the mad hmm, Maybe I don't have enough information. Alright then, perhaps I need to go do some looking around. Ah, I just want to go home already. So those are the five crates I didn't stack. I didn't get time to do it. Maybe I could ask this old man, he might know something. Hey mister. Oh, it's you youngin. You been training? Yeah. That's great. Now then, I can show you how to use it. Use it? The shadow step move? It's rather hard to do, so I'll only do it once, so pay attention. Before, I just showed you how to slide behind your opponent. 
Once you're behind your opponent, strike the back of the neck. An unprotected neck's weaker than you'd expect. An accurate strike can paralyze. Strike just after sliding past your opponent. If you practice, you'll get it. I understand. Thank you. Throw move Shadow Blade has been mastered. Okay, we're not gonna tr I don't think we're gonna practice with it. Well, see if he knows anything anyway as we're here. Excuse me? Eh? What is it, youngin? Do you happen to know where the Mad Angels hang out? Why are you looking for them? I hear you've been getting yourself in all sorts of trouble. I really need to know where they are. If you know, please tell me. All right already. Come back here at night. Here? They always gather around here at night. At night? I understand. Thank you. Don't go doing nothing reckless, you hear? It's night time, so maybe the Mad Angels will come around here. Hmm, good timing. Near the harbour cafeteria, they must be around here somewhere. I guess I'll just have to wait around for them. Oh, I can actually head home, so... Perhaps the Mad Angels aren't going to appear tonight. Oh, how handy, the bus is here. Sweet. I guess we won't be bumping into the Mad Angels tonight. Come on, Rio, get on the bus. No good waiting around. And we're back in the Buita. Nice. Oh, it's nearly Christmas, isn't it? There's Santa Claus. If only I could rob him. Give me my Christmas presents early. <laughs> maybe if that was, maybe if that's a real Santa, we could do it. <laughs> but there's plenty of people that dress around like Santa for attention. I'm gonna head this way home. So depressing running around here now because we don't see that kitten anymore. I love to pet in that kitten. I think Megumi has it somewhere. I'm pretty sure Megumi wouldn't let it leave. I, I imagine Megumi's mother would have let her keep it in the end. Can't let their cat go back out in the wild. Cats like to be pets, don't they? So let's just head home and save my progress and end the day. I've done plenty of work today. Hazuki Residence. Yini san, I'm home. I'm home early today. Okay, let's go get some sleep. I'm tired. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video. That means so much to me. And in the next episode, we'll try and find the Mad Angels. Yeah, about time we found those guys and taught them a lesson. I'll see you guys then, hopefully. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. This is Goldiex, and I'm out.